want to pay attention to. Why are they supporting a, a, a one truck pedophile convoy? Why are they doing that? Why? Why is Ted? Why? Well, I know why Ted Nugent's going to the children's Christian camp. <laughs> But I don't know why these other folks are showing up. There, there's apparently the Republican establishment. But I have someone on the line here that understands this one truck pedophile convoy, and I think she'll give us some insight. I think she's, I think she's actually um, been within proximity of some of these these miscreants um, that ha- that decided it would be a good idea to go down. To, uh, a good idea for pedophiles to go down to a children's Christian camp in Texas, not the border. So we have AP on the line. AP, I'm so glad you joined us. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I'm so glad you're joining us today. I know this was kind of impromptu, uh, but I know you know oh. some of these folks. So do you got? Do you know this guy? Have you met this guy in this video here in this van? Yeah, I actually I want to talk about this because this um this video is getting a lot of traction and it is there's a lot of context to that one. Yeah. Um, so do you do you know that do you know the guy in the in the in the minivan in the weird ass looking minivan with the weird uh, mustache who who at this point in the video he's he's debating the um the pedophile hunter here what the definition of a pedophile is. So when you're starting, when you're starting to have a debate about what the definition is, you're a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, this is a bad one. So, okay. So like I said the other day, there was another convoy, right? Uh-huh. So there was at least three confirmed pedophiles involved in that earlier convoy. This guy is one of them. He has a YouTube channel that, um, he goes by Outlaw Ministries. His name is Brian. Um, I don't know if I should say his name here, but um, no, I don't give a shit. You can say his name. Br- Brian <laughs> Dun- Dunkel, I believe, is what it is. Yeah. He is on the sex offender uh, offender registry. But anyway, he got kicked out of the one, the convoy in 2022. So the woman that's yelling at him was also part of the first convoy. And She's the one behind the camera. Is that, yeah, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she um, obviously has a problem with pedophiles as we all do. So she's kind of made it her life mission to go after these pedophiles, so to speak, that she's familiar with. So they're, you know, she hasn't seen this guy that um, outlaw ministry guys, since the last convoy and got kicked out Mm -hmm. but there was another one that she was very familiar with that you know she was kind of doing the same thing for so um how do i even begin with this (laughs) so he this man um when he was 17 years old sexually assaulted an eight-year-old i don't really want to get very specific about it but it was a relative and um like i said he's on the sex offender registry and so now he has decided to show back up with this new convoy in texas and the group confronted him immediately when he got there um before the woman her name is actually Lori, but before Lori confronts him another group or another a couple people from the group too and they tell him he's not welcome but the police won't kick him out because it's public property so this guy has already been confronted and now he's sitting there on his live stream just making excuses he's just he's just the victim and his story is has changed so many times like first he was 15 he was 14 the the girl was 11 she was all these different ages um but it's all out there the facts are out there he's been convicted and you know like i said he's on the right. industry so that those individuals from the convoy, they confront him and then he just stays in his car. Like not only is he, it's not just a parking lot, but that's actually, um, I forget what they call it. It's like a complex, like a sports complex. So you mm-hmm. can see like the soccer goal right. over there in the background and there's right, fields like all right around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's a playground, there's children as, as the woman Lori pulls up because she live streamed it too. You can see kids playing on those parks and stuff. So, he gets confronted by the, the men from the group and then continues to sit in his car talking to his live stream for hours. And there's hundreds of people in that live stream just telling him he's disgusting and to leave and he's making all these problems and he has all of these excuses and he's the victim, blah, blah, blah. So he sits there forever. And finally, Lori rolls up. Lori was part of the old convoy, is not part of this new convoy. Mm-hmm. She's protesting it um she is she, is she with this guy here uh, uh, that's, uh, yeah that's her boyfriend 
Okay. All oh, right. He's actually a proud boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I like I like that we have proud boys fighting pedophiles. This is exactly. like this is like the best Nazi punching Nazi party that I've ever seen. Like it's I'm like this is Chud. great. Yeah, Chud on Chud versus Chud. It's like this is great. Like MAGA versus MAGA and Nazi versus Nazi. Like this is fucking fantastic. I cannot tell you how happy this makes me. And the media is all uh, distracted by all kinds of shiny objects when they can narrow in on this and be like, this is Trump's people. Like these are the people who are the most loyal to Trumpism. Like they are yeah. the most loyal to these br brain dead QAnon type ideas. That's who these people are. Um, so, but I, I, I'm glad that you know who these people are so you can identify them for us. So, well, go, go, ahead, so, go ahead. So I, the woman, like I said, her name is Lori. Mm -hmm. I actually know her very, very well. And it's a complex story, but after the first convoy imploded, right. And I started showing up as the lone counter protester to the mm -hmm. group. The people who had originally been part of that first convoy and were mad because it ended up like the leaders stole money and left all the participants of the convoy in a parking lot. And most of those people were living out of their cars and had given up their jobs for that convoy and everything. So it was this big drama thing. So I show up, you know, the small bit of the convoy that's left counter protesting and the people who had left the group, but were once part of it and are, were MAGA or whatever conservatives um liked that and they started also showing up in counter protesting so there were a few chuds and non-chuds that joined and lori was one of them so she was part of the convoy and then she came to protest and so um she was in dc for a while protesting uh the j6ers but uh Without saying too much, she she supported January 6th, <laughs> but mm -hmm. she didn't support the grifters, right? The live right. streamers and the grifters making money off of it. Um, and so she had her moment here in D.C. where she was helping me and others counter protest. Um, and then she went on back her way to where she's from and is with the Proud Boy Um and, you know, is still, to my knowledge, a Trump supporter. And she even, during her altercation with this pedophile here, says that the cause is righteous and she supports it. So she does, you know, she's there counter-protesting the grifting streamers and pedophiles. Right. But the whole border, whatever idea they have, um, she supports. It makes it really complicated, doesn't it? Like, it really complicates so things. Complicated. I want to show you another video, and I don't, I don't know if you know this lady, but this one is going super gangbusters. Is it Mona? Um, all, all, all over, all over uh, Twitter. Oh, that's um, her. That's who I'm talking about. So this, She's, that's him in the car. The pedophile's in the car. Okay, so so, so this is the same car, just from a different yeah. angle. And this yeah. is, and this is who? Her name is Lori. This is Lori the Chud, right? This is Lori the Chud. Um, am I am I allowed to call her that, or should I? I mean, yeah, it's it's one of those things that's complicated because she's not, you know, like she was and then she wasn't and then she still holds on to some ideas so it's it's a complex know, it's a con it's <laughs> half <laughs> <laughs> she's she's half chud dating a full proud boy is that the yeah, uh and I, I don't want to like so when this ha you if you're following me on twitter i'm posting like all of you know the highlights of what's going on and that happened. I was watching it live. I was watching Lori stream and I was watching the pedophile stream. It was like a battle of the live streamers. Right. And so I didn't want to put that on Twitter because I know Lori and I knew it looked crazy, but it got out there anyway. And then it just right. really got out there. Right. So I don't want to come on here. Like I'm not, you know, like the other guys I'll, I'll talk full shit about like they're horrible garbage. But, but, you know? Well, in this video with Lori, you're going to see her actually speak against the grifters. Like you yeah. said, so she's going to speak against them and it's kind of going uh, um, viral because she's doing that. Um, and it just, because it feels like when people listen to this, uh, this little diatribe that she has against the grifters, it's like, well, I mean, isn't that the whole point of MAGA and Trump? And like, isn't that the whole thing with January 6th and grifting? Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I have some comments here. Uh, Key says, so she's semi-fascist. I don't know if that's, uh, if that's for like the, 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 the semi trucks, um, punch, a, <laughs> punch a Nazi convoy. Um, Crystal says, Crystal says on Facebook says, I love how AP knows about this. 
Um, and that's really why it, I wanted it, you to come on today. It's all the same people, right? Like all, all of these, no matter what right wing event it is, there's always live streamers, okay? And and they just go from one event to the next, and and so 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 let, let wait a second. Let's let's talk about that for a second. And you're saying it's the exact same live streamers. And you're saying that the live streamers are the actual grifters or the grifters are taking advantage of the live streamers. So the grifters are the live streamers. Like I don't necessarily, okay. okay people will say grifting when you're live streaming. Um, what these, not Lori, Lori's not the one doing this, but there, there's some other streamers that are there that were at J six, you know, we're with the other convoy, like what, whatever, crazy right wing event they've been there but anywho what they'll what they'll do is just you know spread misinformation lie you know take little clips mm -hmm. and likes and shares um and then people believe all that nonsense and, and they send them all these all this money like these little old ladies in their streams if you look at their algorithm or whatever their analytics like everyone is over 60 and female for the most part a large chunk of, of their audience and they'll literally send them their social security and their disability so all these nonsense videos that we know is not the real story right like the the more false rhetoric that they put out there um the more these grannies just eat it up and just send, right. send them money so like most of those streamers that are there literally live off of the money like it pays their mortgage it pays for their two cars their pool you know for them to travel two of those guys have been on the road doing this for several weeks now so they've rented cars and hotels every single day and drove up and down the country um and just to continue this grift yeah 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 so well at, in, in that everywhere. video in the video with the proud boy and Lori, um the the <laughs> half manga um they 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 mentioned and deidre has it up here she's they mentioned someone called master grifter who's master grifter who is this oh my god okay <laughs> because because they're actually they're actually caught not only not only are they grifting but they're calling themselves grifter right i mean they're yeah so it was there's a group of they call trolls you know like the, the community that i associate with that works hard to you know take this stuff down so he had that group had been calling him like master grifter a few right. times and he he picked it up do you really want to know about this individual because it's just it's really terrible <laughs> well, well um, i mean so is is he in as he is he a part of this convoy or yeah. so he the original convoy in two thousand not original but the one in 2022 he was part of that and that had different organizers like here here's the issue so the people's convoy of 2022 had um truckers that were the organizers there was like four of them and all the participants in the group were just random you know people or whatever so this new organization this new convoy has completely different organizers with a completely different agenda however all the participants are of the original convoy so they're like we're not following these rules like we're gonna this isn't how you do things this is what we're gonna want to do um what, what, what was it? What was I saying? I forgot. About the master grifter. <laughs> about master grifter. Oh yeah, yeah. So he was in the in in this first convoy, and so now he's attached himself to the second convoy. And the organizers are not truckers like the first one, so it's it's poorly done. Like they can't get through intersections. You know, they didn't get approval to use the parking lots that they were asking, so they're getting kicked out of places. Like they're almost causing accidents. It's it's really disorganized. So well, I, master well, grifter. Well, I was going to say, I've got a, a live shot. Now, this is from an account called Real Conald Rump. It, it, it feels My like friend. it feels <laughs> like th there's some of the best footage from the live streams coming from this account, Conald Rump. Um, so yeah. if you want to see a lot of the footage and the timeline of some of this footage, you're going to want to go to Twitter and just follow at Real Conald Rump um, and all the videos. Follow there. Conald Rump, yes. Now, so this this is um, this is five minutes ago. And this is a video of uh, it says Simon is repeatedly hanging out the window with a megaphone. Beef says it's OK oh, because he's in he's in really good shape. A local driver fed up with their shit tries to get through and beef calls that dangerous. Uh, so let, let's play just a little bit of this and we'll come back to the uh, of the video of Lori yeah, calling them grifters. So you can see him. And this is the truckers convoy where there's no <laughs> trucks. These are cars. <laughs> And of course, you know. Oh my God. 
This is so safe, guys. This is totally normal. He's got right. a freaking megaphone and a flag out the window <laughs> on the high, four lane highway. And that's of course, so do you, do you know, do you know, I'm going to, I'm going to mute this. Do you guys, do you know this, this guy hanging out the window called beef apparently? Well, beef is the one that's in the car. This is her POV and she's like, Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Simon so is Simon, the one hang. Yeah. Simon's the one hanging out of the car. Sorry. Um, yeah, Simon was with, you know, the other convoy, which became the 1776 restoration movement. And he actually, he got like escorted out of an event in dc one time because he showed up i think it was the women's march wearing a not uh um what do you call it what's the nazi symbol thing they're a little swastika yeah he wore he had a swastika t-shirt um and it was something about vaccines and mandates so it had like needles on the end of the swastika but he showed up to i believe it was the women's march wearing that and of course everybody you know <laughs> was made a scene and was saying things to him and the cops had to like remove him for his own safety but he apparently is like an airline like a flight attendant i guess or something Works this guy airline. this guy yeah. is yeah this yeah. nazi flies around the country on airplanes and is yes. responsible for people's safety on airplanes are you serious yes no, oh my no, god if, if a woman is flying the right plane, you know, right it's all female staff, right exactly it's, it's this white guy it's right funny. but but nazis <laughs> nazis cool women we got a question right is that the yes. okay yes. all right well you know it is 2024 and shit but you know I'm, who am i to say um but obviously um this trucker's convoy is not doesn't have very many truckers in it that's the one thing i want to ask you there's one truck 